Hello, how you doing? Have you heard the term AI chip and you're not quite sure you know exactly how this differs from a normal CPU? Well, if so, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I'll quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. AI chips are specialized processors designed to accelerate AI tasks, particularly in the areas of deep learning. Unlike general purpose CPUs, these chips are optimized to handle computational workloads required for model training and inference. But what is it about these AI chips that makes them a much better fit for AI workloads? Why does AI training and inference need their own dedicated specialized chips? Well, before I answer this, let me give you a little more background on these specialized AI chips. AI chips come in many forms and acronyms. There are GPUs, GPUs, and MPUs, just to name a few. Each of these is designed with architectures tailored to the unique demands of neural networks, such as fast, efficient matrix multiplications and tensor operations. Quick note, in this video, I'll use the terms matrices and tensors quite often. Just so we're aligned, we normally think of matrices in two dimensions or three dimensions. You should think of a tensor as a generalized form of a scalar or vector or matrix going to n dimensions, where n can be a number in the hundreds or even thousands. So let's first talk about GPUs. A GPU is known formally as a graphics processing unit. NVIDIA's GPU, the H100, is one of the more popular GPUs. The H100 is designed to execute with massive parallel processing, meaning it can handle thousands of simultaneous operations. This is ideal for tasks like rendering graphics or running AI computations. NVIDIA, which was founded in 1993, originally was focused on selling GPUs to gamers in the 90s. But in the early 2000s, AI researchers figured out that the same fast math computations GPUs were good at to render low latency high-end graphics were the same required for training neural networks. This discovery eventually opened up a whole new market for NVIDIA. So how is a GPU different from a CPU or central processing unit? Well, a CPU is optimized for sequential general purpose tasks enabling it to excel at flexible logic, but with far fewer cores. So what's a core? Well, a core is a processing unit that can independently execute machine language instructions. A CPU core contains general purpose instructions such as arithmetic, logic, control flow, and memory access. For those of you who might have taken an assembly language class sometime in your life, you might recognize examples such as add, subtract, multiply, divide, jump, call, load, and store. CPUs are good at handling computations required for running operating systems, applications, and process management. Note, today's consumer-grade CPUs normally have four to eight, maybe up to 16 cores, so they have limited capabilities in parallel processing, but you will see in a bit that this is much less than what a GPU has to offer. So what about GPUs? Well, GPUs alternatively have simpler cores, but many more of them. GPU cores are more narrowly focused on parallel math over vectors, matrices, and tensors. GPU cores are optimized for executing the same operation over many data points, such as pixels or tensor elements, simultaneously. Examples are matrix-to-matrix -matrix or matrix-to-vector multiplication. Simply put, GPUs trade flexibility in the logic they can handle for raw parallel speed, while CPUs prioritize versatility and complex task handling. So what about TPUs? Well, Google's Tensor Processing Units, or TPUs for short, like GPUs, are far faster for AI tasks, but also lack the general purpose flexibility of a CPU. So it sounds like TPUs are the same as GPUs. Well, there's some nuance when comparing GPUs to TPUs. Because of the GPU's history with the gaming computing going back to the 1990s, GPUs handle both high-end graphics and AI workloads really well. Alternatively, TPUs are designed specifically for tensor 
and matrix operations in neural networks, making them even more optimized than GPUs for deep learning workloads. So who are the key players that provide these chips? Well, there are the semiconductor giants like NVIDIA and AMD that dominate the headlines, but additionally, there are dozens of startups also racing to innovate in this space. Additionally, tech giants such as Google, Amazon, Apple, Tesla, Microsoft, and Meta have also built their own custom AI chips to power AI use cases within their own product offerings. So today, where can you find AI chips being used? Well, AI chips can be found powering cloud-based AI services running in massive data centers. Additionally, AI chips can be found in edge devices like smartphones, cameras, and even cars. For example, Apple's neural engine running on its AI chip handles AI tasks directly on your iPhone, while Tesla's Dojo chips are designed to train models for self-driving cars. So going back to my earlier question, why does AI need its own specialized AI chips? I alluded to it a little earlier, but the key lies in the computational requirements for neural network training and inference. Neural networks are fundamentally represented by matrices and tensors. Here, you see a simple example of how an input layer with weighted connections to the first hidden layer are represented using matrices. In the real world, LLMs, which are implemented using neural network models, which are much, much larger than this simple example, rely on enormous amounts of matrix and tensor operations. So answering my original question, I think you can see now why these large AI models require these specialized AI chips. So why does AI chips matter for the future? Well, in 2025, AI chips are more than just a technical curiosity. They're becoming central to the development of the next generation AI systems, which could reshape entire industries. Hopefully, I've been able to help you see why specialized AI chips with their ability to execute fast tensor and matrix math enable efficient training and inference for deep learning neural network models. Okay, so let me know what you think of AI chips. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. I wanna hear what you think about this topic. Okay, thanks for watching. This video along with all the other business playlists are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning AI. But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing, but get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I want to hear about this also. And with that, have a great day. Thanks.